Back in September, longtime Dragons varsity football coach Chris Bell was named the high school's athletic director. Throughout the 2016 season, Bell served as AD and head coach, but it was just a matter of time before he would name his replacement. It was recently announced that John Blackstock would replace Chris Bell as the head coach of the varsity football team. A Bad Axe native, Blackstock was hired in 1998 as a phys ed teacher and assistant coach. For 19 years, he coached varsity defensive backs and coordinated special teams. In January, he was appointed varsity head coach to allow former head coach Chris Bell to focus on his duties as athletic director. You know, uh, excited, nervous, and uh, a little bit of everything in between. Um, but, you know, that nervousness has really turned to excitement now. The Dragons finished the 2016 season with a 5-4 and four record to make the playoffs, only to lose to Romeo in the first round. Although the team is losing a lot of graduating seniors, he told us members of the 2017 squad have been lifting weight since Thanksgiving, and coaches are already prepping for the 2017 season. I told the kids at the first meeting when, when Chris introduced me as the head coach that uh, I really equate the whole thing to like buying a house. You know, and sometimes somebody buys a house and they go in and they knock down the walls and they rip up the foundation because it's just easier to start over. And uh, I said, that's not the case in this situation. You know, Chris has built a great house. Uh, our foundation, which is our community support, our school administration, uh, our, our coaching staff is solid. You know, our, our structure, our walls, our support uh, is still all in place with most all of our coaches uh, returning. You know, um, you know, I told the kids, you know, we're going to make it our own house. Sure, we might change the, the carpet in the, a room. We might rip down a little bit of wallpaper here and hang some pictures to give it our own identity. But for the most part, the house is solid and strong, and there's no need to make a, a major change in that area. He went on to say that since being named varsity head coach, he's received words of encouragement from the Lake Orion community. Thanks for the support. I've been uh, humbled by the, the outpouring of well wishes and support and of you know, phone calls and text messages and emails from the community, uh, from the district, you know, people that work in the district, from former players, from the current players. Um, you know, and, and I'd, I'd like to thank uh, you know, my family for being really supportive of me and uh, taking on this challenge. The Lake Orin varsity football schedule has already been announced. The Dragons kick off the season on Thursday, August 24th, when they travel to Chippewa Valley, then host their home opener on Thursday, August 31st, against Rochester Adams, the first of four home games in a row leading up to the homecoming game against Southfield A&T on September 22nd.